Well, Brett Kavanaugh is only the latest issue splitting this country in two. The question is, can we find a way to bring the two sides together? Well, Roy Wood Jr. went looking for answers. Our nation is more divided than ever. Americans remain bitterly divided. Half the people in a country absolutely hate the other half. We've never seen division like this, except in the period before the Civil War, and then we had war. So how do we bring liberals and conservatives together? One company with radical ideas about team building, Survival Systems USA, says they may have the answer. People that just don't work well together, you can bring them here, take the training, they'll be well bonded. In the training, Survival Systems claims that people come together when they go through simulated disaster scenarios in a big-ass pool. We think this is the ultimate extreme team building experience. So the more extreme the experience, the more team building achieved? Yes. So if you really want to facilitate team building, you should just have the whole office witness a murder. <laughs> yeah, but we all got to keep the secret. These guys think their extreme training can bring even the worst of enemies together. So I tracked down two political enemies, a far-right Republican. I voted for Donald Trump in 2016, and I will be first in line in 2020. Codename Dan Coulter, and a fringe left-wing snowflake. I'm into slam poetry, and I was a 2016 Hillary Clinton organizer. Codename Pod Save America. These are real people who've never met and are both outraged at the other's political beliefs. But they've agreed to join me at Survival Systems to embark on a day of extreme team building. All right, so here's the deal. I got six hours and about four Red Bulls to get these two to find common ground. It's gonna be worse than a vegan Thanksgiving. <laughs> Before the first exercise, we had to jump into the pool off this high-ass platform. All right, folks, this is what we call the chain formation. This is for group mobility. Our first extreme drill was all about cooperation. We had to learn how to preserve energy in the water by swimming all up in each other's junk. This is like the first aid version of the human centipede. First off, why I gotta be in the middle of the centipede? I'm wearing a suit. I should be up front. These are my church clothes. Anyway, it was time to put our bond into the test with a serious discussion about immigration. Is the wall racist? I think the person building it is. He is not a racist. So how do you feel about him calling nations shitholes? Um, I've been to several of them, and they are shitholes. OK, so we're getting nowhere. So cooperation didn't do shit to give me a rash. But the training at Survival Systems was just getting started. This is the life raft, and once you're inside, you should be able to survive for maybe 117 days. This exercise is about simulated isolation. Come on, it's your turn, Dan Coulter. When you're isolated in a rubber boat for months at sea, you can't squabble about political differences. So now was the chance for these two to really get to know each other. But in the end, it came back to Trump. We know how he thinks about women. Why don't you just let the men govern the country and quit fucking with them? If the man was interested in governing the country, he wouldn't be talking about cocaine orgies with Boy Scouts. Oh, my God. All right, so isolation didn't work. And now, these two button heads like World Star Sea World Edition. Which is why Survival System's final and most extreme tactic was apparently about creating bonds through shared trauma. The moment we have all been waiting for, we're going to now simulate the plane crash. The what now? I'm getting a plane crash? Yeah, so it's going to crash into the water, we're gonna flip you upside down, and then you're going to get out. No, you're not. I'm a black man in America. The last thing I need is another way to die. Mm -mm. Trevor. Yeah, they said plane crash. I don't do that. Can Desi do it? Michael Costa, what's, what's up, man? Hey, look, you want to get in the water? I'm the black guy from The Daily Show. No, not Trevor. I'm the other black guy. All right, fine. This plane crash machine, originally built to train military and special rescue forces, is going to literally crash underwater during a thunderstorm and force us to survive together. OK, OK. If there's ever a time to put aside our differences, it's a damn underwater plane crash. This is when most people confront their own mortality and reflect on what's really important. But these two clowns somehow found time to debate the Second Amendment. Here we go. As we flipped upside down, unbuckled our seats, and pushed out the plane windows, I noticed something. It was quiet. 
They went at each other's throats underwater. It was beautiful. But on the surface? I'm tremendously worried about the tax returns. Well, is there a one trick pony with the tax return stuff? Now, oh, come on! Fuck this! Turns out Survival Systems teamwork and exercises were no match for Trump's divided America. But there was one solution. If you want to quiet the political noise, just make sure everybody's underwater at all times.